And let's listen to the power reduction now as Bob comes over the top and searches for the runway with the left gear, also covered by BF Goodrich Aviator Tires. Down to the left-hand portion now, Bob will make his turnaround. Let me tell you a little bit something about the uh, airplane that Bob is flying today. It's just a uh, executive type transport, absolutely dead still, furnishing no power whatsoever to the performance of the aircraft. As Bob performs probably the most difficult maneuver that we do in the Shrank sequence, it's the single engine loop followed by an eight point roll into the dead engine. As Bob slides down the back side, now from the inside our Barnstormers loop, he'll monitor his airspeed very carefully to make sure he has enough for the eight point roll, which will be toward us or into the dead engine. Speed looks good now as Bob comes down to the right of me and this will be toward us. We'll count the points for you. Point number one, two, continuing around. Point three and four to the inverted position. Five, six, seven, and now eight to the upright. Now as Bob gets down farther away, he'll probably do another point roll as he restarts the engine on this right commander. And flying momentarily and the airspeed indicator needle comes back to zero. Coming to stage center now. The nose high attitude in this beautiful sky here at Cleveland, and the airspeed begins to dissipate. Bob is down to 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and there is zero. Everything okay? How about a little wing wiggle there, Bob? Bob says everything's okay, you know, from time to time. We have a little work done on this right, Commander. And Bob likes to check out that work. Okay, both engines are off. And the Shrike Commander now as Bob comes to stage center. I want you to notice how rapidly the airspeed begins to dissipate when Bob gets to the nose high attitude to my right. Both engines are still off. And the Shrike Commander now as it brings it straight on up. Now, the airspeed is now already down to 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and there is zero. Everything very, very quiet inside the Schweik Commander. Now, I want you uh, old pilots and you young pilots to take a notice of what's happening right now. You notice Bob has suddenly deviated from the straight or center air show line. That's a safety precaution. Now, I watched uh, Bob for the last 14 years that we've been together on the air show circuit perform that same safety maneuver, never having used it until one year ago next weekend in Springfield, Illinois. Believe it or not, he could not get either engine restarted. But because he had a little extra in the bank, as he likes to say, he was able to make the turn, come back, extend the landing gear, put the aircraft safely down on the runway. Now, Bob didn't get to be a veteran air show pilot by doing anything foolish. So speaking of veteran air show pilot, this is Bob's 48th year as an air show demonstration pilot. Without question, the greatest air show aerobatic demonstration pilot the world has ever seen or probably ever will see. Off in the strike commander. Now, this first point gets to you rather quickly. Nose coming up and toward us. Here he is point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Both engines still out. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One more, please, Bob. And barrel sixteen. The sixteen point roll. Bob Hoover in the evergreen strike from Los Angeles, California. He'll be looking for 288 miles an hour as he comes downhill. He'll be shutting off both engines. He's going to perform for you an insider barnstormer's loop, followed by an eight-point roll, 180-degree turn, land and taxi the aircraft without ever restarting the engine, so he says. Both engines are off now. Very quiet inside the Shrike Commander now. Total concentration required by this great aviator as it comes up over the top. Ooh, he'll slide over the top and he'll take a good close look at his airspeed now as he'll, he'll probably fudge a little bit on this loop and keep that nose pointed out to pick up as much speed as he can. He has to get that back in the bank. Now, if the nose comes up high, that means he's going to roll the aircraft and out he'll come right for the runway. We'll keep around the nose of the aircraft. Nose coming up and yes, toward us. One, two, three, and four. Remember, both engines are still off. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, the 180-degree turn. 
To those of you who have watched Bob and me know that we have a little 25 cent bet in which I say Bob can't do all the things that he says he's going to do. Now he's done quite well with his energy management maneuvers, but he said he was going to taxi way up here almost by the Blue Angels. We'll see how well Bob does with all his energy management series, including the taxi, so I may get one of my quarters back. I don't like what I see there, you know. It looks like he might have a little extra speed in there, but as Danny Clisham has worked with us so many years, he knows that Bob likes to use the wind. Well, I don't think he's got much of a chance there. Up on a whoops, slide it down on the other BF Goodrich Aviator tire. That's the tire that takes that tremendous landing pressures from Bob in the Shrike routine. Let's bring him out of captain from Los Angeles, California, and Evergreen International. Whoever is Bob over, Bob over. Danny.